Oh, this is a cop. Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's my boo I can make a quarter million off a haiku And I can make another quarter off it times two If it's money on the table, I'll be on it like Bobby or Epic You peep the aesthetic, it's hard to forget it I hear you talking, but you're hardly right I'm the voice of your prototype mm. Summertime and then why? Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. I just, I'm re-recording this because I had my mic on and I replayed it because I want to make sure I'm not doing slow motion and you couldn't hear me because the mic thing was on. Oh, Dios mío. Welcome to the vlog. My name is Nezzy. If you are new here, please subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Today is Thursday and it is 5 o'clock. I'm on my way to pick up Nancy. I just dropped my mom home to the house because my mom had mouth surgery dropped her off she's doing okay thank god um i'm on my way to pick up nancy we are going to sarasota and it's about an hour from here but my gps is saying an hour and a half i guess because it's rush hour we are going to an event because she's an art collector so they invite her every year i explained this before in my other vlogs so i'm excited i packed like if i was going to puerto rico for a week so yeah, yeah, but it's a girl thing. You guys know how it is when you go away, even if it's for a weekend. It was a busy day today. I got up at 6.30, I worked, I filmed a Timu hold finally. So if you haven't checked that out, it's the video before this one. I filmed a video, I edited it halfway. I'm gonna finish it tonight. I cooked for Diesel because when I go away, I like to make him, well, when I go away for a short weekend, I like to fix him some stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it was just a busy, hectic day. Out of all days, it was a busy day. I had Zoom meetings, it was just terrible. I have not eaten. The only thing I had was a Premier Shake and two of those sugar-free Oreo cookies. I am starving, my mouth is so dry, it's terrible. I haven't even drank water. I had a little bit of iced coffee, but that was it. But I figured on our way there, or maybe when we get there, we'll grab something to eat. I haven't even touched up my face. I ha I have to um put some lipstick on. But I threw on this outfit, guys. I have this top. I have this from Zara. This top is from Zara. I bought this top like two years ago. I just finally took the tags off. Everything in my suitcase, well, not everything. Most of the stuff in my suitcase have tags on it. I'm telling you, I have so many... I have so much clothes with tags on it. I'm like, you know what? Let me start wearing this stuff. So I just started throwing stuff in my bag. Um, my shoes are the Timu ones you saw in the haul. Six dollars. The Hermes dupes. And I'm going to go get them in different colors. My mother loved them. She tried them on. So I'm going to get her some too. 
I have on my pink jeans from Old Navy. These ones I look super cute. I did my makeup earlier because I knew I wasn't going to have time. Um, yeah, my scent of the day is... Oh my God, and I smell so good. I keep smelling myself. This is the bond number nine, Madison Avenue. Speaking of bond number nine, I was in Nordstrom last week. And the girl at the counter, she's so sweet. She told me May 25th to June 7th, you buy two bond number nines and you get one free. And I'm definitely jumping on that because those perfumes are very expensive. But if I could get a free one, well, actually, you're getting three for the, yeah. If I can jump on that, I'm, I'm getting it. Is this where Nancy lives? Oh, good God. Yeah, this is where she lives. I haven't been here in a while. Well, yeah, this is where she lives. God, it's the hunger. It's the hunger. Excited about this weekend because you know it's a staycation it's you know we're not really far from home but you know it's girl time it's yeah, it's girl time so I mean I might have to go through a drive through I still need to fill up my tank I didn't get a chance to wash my car I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm sure it's gonna rain probably tonight I don't care I just need to fill up my tank because I'm not getting gas anywhere else I'm going to stand to get gas and hopefully the line is not long you guys saw that I waxed my underarms this morning. Now, I used to get the NADS wax where you heat up the wax for eight seconds. This one, I think, I don't know if it's new, but this is the sugar wax where um, no heating up the wax was required. Why is this guy in the way? Okay, I need to go through, guys. Thank you. So, um, the sugar wax... It doesn't hurt and it's not irritated, but it made my right underarm red. There's a red patch, so I, I don't know. Because it was hard putting it on. When it's heated up, it goes on so easy. So I don't know. I read the whole instructions and it didn't say anything about heating it up. The one I used to use before required you to heat it up for um, eight seconds. So I don't know. I don't know. But I waxed it. And yeah, I'm super happy that they're waxed because I waited like two and a half weeks before um, waxing them because, you know, you need to let the hair grow. Oh, this is a cop. Oh, Jesus. All right, let me put the camera down. Nice, nice, nice. A rug, Nancy. This has a rug, and we have two rows. He said one is back here, one row for me, and one row for Nancy. Um, what's in here? Okay, this is hangers. Another row right there. We got two queen beds and um, a coffee machine, espresso machine with the pots, TV, our beds. Table, mirror. Nancy's out there chilling with her mimosa. Look at the view. Well, we have a table here with two chairs, but this is a beautiful view. Gorgeous. It's really nice. So, the funny part is, let me turn the camera around. This is that when we made the toast, Nancy decides to drop her <laughs> mimosa on my foot and talk about this is for my homies. She said, this is for my homies. Secondly, so I, I gotta say this because I'm not used to this and I'll be honest and it is what it is, but so you know when you go into a hotel and they say, okay, we have to reserve your credit card for a certain amount because you know, God forbid anything. It's a dentals, yeah. Okay. So I'm used to like a hundred dollars, right? Why she say two fifty a night? That's right. Two fifty a night for incidentals. Which, of course, there's not going to be no kind of incidentals here. <laughs> nope. Don't even No way. Plans. No. Okay? I'm like, wow. One day I'll get there where I'll be like, okay, here you go. Here's my black card. 
We're off to dinner. Let's make sure this room is closed. Ay, no, the line for the bar, we have two tickets for free drinks. The two line tickets. for tickets. Two? 20. 20 tickets? Yeah. Look. Show them the tickets. Look, you know. We got 20 it's drinks. Up. It's packed up in there. 10 drinks each. <laughs> no, and they give you another stack. What are you done? Oh my god. It's unlimited. It's unlimited. And it's top shelf liquor. Yep. Let me stop talking all loud like I've never been nowhere. Shut up. Again, we're off to dinner. And it smells so nice in here. I love this girl's dress. <laughs> I love that dress. Yes. yes. There she goes. Nice dress. It smells so good. It's probably the hotel collection. And know my six dollar sandals and clickety clackety. <laughs> I was like, I finally won something. I was like, I've never, I don't, I'm not, I don't have good luck with that. Or three. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna I, order. I, you want martini or something? A martini. How about a watermelon martini? Do they make those? Or oh, apple martini? Apple tini. Apple tini? Apple tini gets you in trouble. Ain't gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> You'd be on top of the bar. <laughs> no, no, no. Now my hubby was here to different story. <laughs> but that's fine. How about a Cosmo? One Cosmo. <laughs> the food was amazing. I had truffle mac and cheese. I had flank steak, cod, string beans, salad, and a piece of bread. And everything was absolutely delicious. Delicious. The dessert, don't even get me started with the dessert. The dessert was a white chocolate mousse with raspberry. I mean, delicious. When I tell you, I can't keep... I can't stop saying delicious. It was delicious. Right, sis? The Ritz Carlton holds the food. Awesome. Right? It was good. Yeah. I ate twice. And I had no shame in my game. <laughs> Comes my martini. Oh, she's tasting my martini. Is it good? It's good. It's strong. I'll be the judge of that. Cheers. I had to. This is good. Nancy, this is good. This is not strong. It is not strong. She can't hang. Girl. This is uh -uh. good. Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh, Kenny. I know. Kenny Simmons. How are you, my dear? How are you? I'm pooped. I'm tired. I think it's about. I'm, Nancy, what time is it? Sis. What time is it? Um, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? <laughs> it's past my bedtime. <laughs> so Nancy said she wasn't gonna buy no drinks. I mean, no drinks. You hear me? No paintings? She won't come out of here with a painting. Another one. No, don't let me. And another one. Don't let me. And another one. <laughs> As DJ Kelly says. <laughs> And another one. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Friday, and we are on our way to breakfast, Nancy and I. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful day after breakfast. I guess there's a presentation, and then we're headed to the beach. Mm. 
beautiful. We are at the Ritz Carlton Members Club. They're just taking my car to valet. This is gorgeous. Qué belleza. It's been working. It's a, a little bit updated because this place was built. We'll eat at this restaurant here. We're starving. It's um. Gracias. It's two o'clock. This is beautiful. So what did he say? Uh, right there. Okay. And then over there, said they sell gelato. Okay, we get both then. I was asking about the food, but you know. I can't even see myself because it's so sunny. But it's beautiful here. This is all right. Let's go eat. Oh, hold, on. hold on. We had chips in the car. We had chips in the car. This food. Okay, but listen. Let's I just want to tell my friends, my subscribers, the sand is the sand is white, and the ocean is blue. <laughs> it's green, actually. Okay, it's green. I'm colorblind, <laughs> but yeah. All right, we're gonna go into this restaurant. It's called Riley's Porch. He said the best thing is fish tacos. Oh, my favorite. Thank you. Just finished eating. I had a bacon Caesar salad and Nancy and I shared a steak, no, a Philly, a Philly cheese steak quesadilla. Nancy had vegan pulled pork. Why? <laughs> it looked good. First of all, we are super stuffed, but we want well, at least I want a nice coffee. And they sell gelato around here somewhere, but we're gonna walk. We're walking around the premises. It's really pretty. Are we going in the sand? No. Because that's what it looks. Oh, okay. You sure? I mean, I don't mind. Oh, a tiki bar. Well, you went the wrong way. But I'm super full. This is so nice. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's so beautiful. There's not much water activity going on. I see a few sailboats. But it's so cool. I don't want to sit. Let's sit on the beach. seven o'clock it's still friday evening it feels like saturday i just came upstairs well we came back from the beach and we went straight to the ballroom they were having an auction with the artist named goddard if i'm saying that correctly he's the famous artist who paints the olives and strawberries since nancy bought me on this trip with her she's an art collector i'm wide open on collecting art now well, I would love to collect art. I don't own any paintings, but from what I saw yesterday and today, I'm telling you, beautiful, beautiful artwork. And yeah, I think I want to start collecting art. Um, some of the paintings were as low as 
600, the highest one I've seen, which earlier today they had an auction and someone won the a certain painting, not by Gardart, by, um, was it Picasso? I'm not sure, but he won the painting for $149,000. 149000 I was like, wow. It was just amazing hearing the auctioner. Six hundred. Do I hit nine hundred? Yo, let me tell you, I was so intrigued by it. I called Diesel and I was telling him about it. I was like, babe, I want to start collecting art. So, who knows, in the near future, I might go shopping for art. Or on the cruise ships, you know how they have the art galleries? That's where Nancy bought her first three paintings, which was about five years ago. I was with her when she bought her first um, three paintings. Beautiful. Anyway, we came back from the beach. We came back here. Nancy changed quickly because she wanted to address. The guy said we can come as we are. So I still had my shorts and top, so that's what I wore. And, um, you know, I saw some people were dressed casual. So around 6.15, I came back upstairs. I took a shower. I changed. I have on this dress. This dress is from, my God, if I tell you how old this dress is, this is from Banana Republic from like maybe over 10 years ago. And I decided to wear it today. I am going to run downstairs because the Zoom is going to be served in another five minutes. So I'm going to run down. I'm not taking the camera with me. I think I filmed a lot today. And yeah, but let me just show you guys this beautiful view again. Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday. It's about 12-ish. I'm waiting for Nancy in the lobby. We're going back to the country club. It's beautiful outside. We just had brunch. We had cop salads. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. We will just chill over there. Maybe have some more gelato. Did I tell you guys that I had gelato yesterday? Oh my god, it was amazing. That espresso gelato it was so good the cup salad was really good it was filling i didn't eat all of it but that was really good but i'm gonna move for a burger so maybe i'll have that later on today almost 12 o'clock i am home yes i'm home i was supposed to be returning home today nancy and i was supposed to be returning back home today but due to some unforeseen circumstances we had a return last night so um which i'm not gonna be able to discuss that but um, anyway i'm home i got home last night about 10 ish i told these i was coming home and he says well since you're on your way home can you stop at papa john's so i stopped at papa john's got us some food and Came home, we watched the game, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about this weekend. We had a fabulous weekend. This weekend was so, so nice. Again, we stayed at the Ritz-Carlton. I thank Nancy for inviting me. I had a really good time. I learned a lot about different artists. Nancy is an art collector, and I don't own any art, but she was sweet enough to... She purchased... She, she bought three paintings, and she's gifting me one. She says, this is going to be your birthday gift, so... Thank you, sis, if you're watching. And then on the last, well, last, yesterday, which was our last day there, we spoke about the artist Peter Max. If you don't know who Peter Max is, he's a famous artist. And unfortunately, now he has advanced Alzheimer's and dementia. So he's not going to be painting anymore. But Peter Max, if you don't know who he is, look him up. He lived, he still lives in New York. He's from Germany, I believe. But moved to New York and he's been here for years. He's painted a lot. Like a lot of celebrities, former presidents, own a lot of his paintings. Like Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, the Bushes. A lot of celebrities like Taylor Swift, Lionel Richie, Shaquille O'Neal. The list goes on and on and on because we were at a presentation and they were talking about Peter Max and I was just amazed. I didn't know who Peter Max was until Nancy bought her first two paintings from Peter Max on a ship, on a cruise that we went to in 2017. So, and yesterday, every day they showed 
they showcased a different artist. And yesterday was Peter Max. So when we got to the um, conference room or the ballroom, they had all of Peter Max's, well, you know, most, a lot of his paintings in the room. And I was like, oh my God, like I was so amazed, but they were so expensive. Like some of his paintings were like 58,000, 27,000, but they were budget friendly too. There was some for like, 4,900, 5,100, and so forth. Anyway, long story short, I was like, I would love to get a Peter Max painting. But you know, I really wanted one. So one of the last paintings they showed was in my budget. So I decided to purchase one. So I got my first Peter Max painting. When it comes, I will show you guys. I'm not sure when it's gonna come. But since Nancy was the one that had a bed, she had to put her card up, because I was like, Nancy, put your card up. I want it. I want that one. So she was like, you sure? I'm like, yes, I want that one. So, you know, we got that one. So it's coming to Nancy's house. So when it comes and she lets me know when it's here, I'll show you guys. But now I have two paintings. One is by Goddard, which is the one Nancy gifted me. And then the Peter Max one. Because Peter Max, once he passes, God bless that man. I mean, his story is amazing. Um, a lot of his paintings are like gonna be like really valuable. So not only that, I, I didn't buy it because of that. I bought it because I really appreciated his work. I really appreciate his work and even the other artists. I mean, they were amazing. I learned about five new artists and two we got to meet yesterday, which was Tim Yankee. Love him. One day I will purchase one of his paintings. This young guy, I forgot his name. Oh, I forgot his name. But he's a young guy. His story was he was surfing when he was a young kid. And he felt a tickle in his foot. A hammer shark bit his foot. He was in the hospital for a very long time. And at that time, while he was in the hospital, the only channel he could see was PBS. And he could only see, was it Bob Moore? What was his name? The young, well, he wasn't young, but the, the um, guy with the afro that always painted on Channel 13. And... And, and the clouds and the mountains and the grass. Was it Bob Moore? Hold on. My apologies, not Bob Moore, Bob Ross. This, this was him, who doesn't remember him? I used to watch him as a young girl and his paintings were so nice. And anyway, going back to the young gentleman, he kept watching him, watching him, watching him and then he started painting and then he ran out of canvas, he was saying, and he couldn't afford canvas so he went and painted, like he would get wood and paint on wood. And let me tell you here, now this guy is like filthy rich. We did a lot of the presentations and it was nice seeing these auctions. And like I said, this one gentleman paint, uh, bought a painting for 150,000. I was like, wow, a beautiful, beautiful art. We didn't get to go swimming, but that's okay. We went back to the country club and we had some pina coladas. She had a mango daiquiri. It was so good. We had a nice time. We really, really had a nice time and I look forward to going to another event like that, maybe next year. So yeah, that was it. And today I'm just home. I'm, Diesel went to Publix. I am doing some laundry. I am going to go online on Timu and see if I place another order. I hope you guys enjoyed my Timu haul. If you haven't checked that out, it's the one, it's the video before this one. I really like Timu, Timu's pretty good. And um, so yeah, I wanna go on there again and see what else I can get. I wanna order those sandals again in different colors. Um, I got a lot of compliments for them. Nancy, as a matter of fact, is gonna buy a pair of those sandals. My mom wants a pair of them, so I'm gonna get her a pair. And tomorrow is the start of a new week. Tomorrow's my sister's birthday, so I have to figure out what I'm getting her between today and tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy this weekly vlog. If you're new here, please think about subscribing to my channel. For you guys who have returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I wish you all a safe, blessed week. Please give this video or vlog a thumbs up. Until the next one, I hope to see you guys again. Have a safe, blessed week. Until then, adios.